Section 49 of Wheels, The Third Cycle This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Bibliography Wheels, First Volume, 1916 Published by B. H. Blackwell Conceived in morbid eccentricity and executed in fierce, factitious gloom. Paul Moore Gazette We have no doubt whatever that, fifty years hence, the publication of Wheels will be remembered as a notable event in the inner history of English literature. Morning Post Aldous Huxley, The Burning Wheel, published by B. H. Blackwell Without any doubt, an original poet, The Nation Edith Sitwell, The Mother and Other Poems, published by B. H. Blackwell In all these poems, one thing is clear. They come from within. Miss Sitwell does not describe, she lives in her verse. This very little therefore points a long way. The Times Edith and Osbert Sitwell, 20th Century Harlequinade, published by B. H. Blackwell. Every pretty woman carries a vanity bag into which she puts all her most cherished possessions, from a passionate letter from Flanders to a dinky little pink stick of lip salve. When writers of verses are happy enough to collar publishers, they put all the most precious possessions of their hearts into their books, which are vanity bags. This vanity bag is not so pretty. The New Witness E. Wyndham Tennant Warple Flit and Other Poems Published by B. H. Blackwell Mr. Tennant has an unclouded vision and a blessed gift of direct speech. The Glasgow Herald Iris Tree Poems Privately Printed Sherard Vines the Two Worlds, published by B. H. Blackwell, an extremely vivid and charming poet, The Nation. Sir Cheverell Sitwell, The People's Palace. This is the most advanced poetry we have had so far, advanced in that it is founded on a theory probably new to this country. Robert Nichols in The New Witness. We have attributed more to Mr. Sitwell than to any poet of quite his generation. We require of him only ten years of toil. T. S. Eliot in The Egoist The Mayor of Mercia is almost unreadable for dullness. Jones, Miss Topsy, in A. or The Common Cause. The word dire shows real observation and imagination. It illuminates. It is a word one might have thought of, and didn't. Jones, Miss, in A or The Common Cause. Editor's Note. Hoity-toity, Topsy Jones. End Note. Our Stylists. The People's Palace purports to be a collection of verse by Sir Cheverell Sitwell. Its sheer inanity is beyond description. The audacity of wasting precious paper, to say nothing of printing ink, on such unadulterated drivel, take, sick, one's breath away. The World. Editor's Note. A society paper, I believe. End Note. Exhibits all the characteristic traits of Mr. Sitwell's rhyming, to wit, a rather tortuous and alembicated diction, profusely interspersed with an intricate preciosity of imagery, and far-fetched ideas clothed in elaborate language. The Aberdeen Daily Journal End of section End of Wheels, The Third Cycle Recording by Eva Davis, Nemo, Kate Barrett, Newgate Novelist, and Algie Pug